Hello and welcome back to my channel Alpha Basics, a uh, channel for various competitive exams. In my channel, you will get more than 850 videos, long as well as short. So I have uploaded lots of videos on general intelligence, numerical aptitude, English grammar. So do watch, like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel Alpha Basics. You will get lots of help from my channel. And uh, during this year also, lot of exams are going to be conducted lot of exams such as SSC, CGL, CHSL and a lot of exams. So do watch, you will get lots of help from my channel. So this is a question of number analogy and how we solve number analogy. This uh, number analogy question, analogy question has two parts. This is the left hand side, this one this is the first part. And this is the second part. We try to solve this part first. And once we have done it, we implement the same process in this part to get the answer. So in this part also, first we try to get 12 out of 2. And then we will implement the same technique in order to get the answer from 8. So what the question says, 2 is to 12 is equal to 8 is 2. We have to find out the appropriate number and the four options are given. Now straight away, uh, we will consider 2 and how we can get 12. So very simple, we will multiply it with 6. So 2 into 6 is 12, which is given. So we will check over here whether the same process is followed or not. So we will consider 8 and what we have done, we have multiplied it with 6. So we will multiply with 6. So 8 into 6 is 48. Now see the options 48 is not given. So we cannot adapt this process. So we have to try in a different way to get, get the answer. So again we will consider this 2. And now how we can get 12? So we will add 10. So 2 plus 10 is 12 again. So 12 is given. Now we will check this process over here. So what we have to do, we will consider 8 and add 10 as we have added 10 over here. So 8 plus 10 is how much? 18. 18 is given. Yes, 18 is given. So this is the answer. So option A is the answer 18. Next question 62 is to 16 is equal to 82 is to we have to find out this number and the four options are given. So as usual, we will try to get 16 out of 62 and then we will implement the same process to get the answer from 82. So we will consider 62. Now see 16 is quite uh, smaller than 62. So uh, we will first try will divide it by 2. So once we divide it by 2, this is coming 31. But 16 is given. So we cannot follow this one. Again, uh, we will try different method. We'll consider 62 and add the digits. So 6 plus 2 is 8. Now uh, we will multiply it with 2. So 8 into 2 is 16, which is given. So we will check over here whether the same process is followed or not. So we will consider 82 and add the digits. So 8 plus 2 is 10. So what we have done, we have multiplied again with 2. So 10 into 2 is 20. Whether 20 is given? No, it is not given. So we cannot follow this method also. So we have to try different method. So again, we will consider this one 62. And what we will do now, we will subtract this digit. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So uh, we will square 4. So 4 into 4 is how much? 16, which is given. So again, we will consider this 82 and we will subtract the digits. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Now we will square it. So 6 square is 6 into 6, which is equal to 36. So 36 is given. So 36 is the answer option A. So the last question. Again, a question of number analogy. This is a little bit different. Uh, figure is given. One circle is given. Inside it, we have two numbers 8 and 3 uh, is to 25 is equal to. Again, a circle is given and inside it, we have two numbers 9 and 2. 
uh, is to what? We have to find out this number and the four options are given. As usual, process remains the same. We have to try to get 25 out of this uh, number and we will implement the same in order to get the answer from uh, this figure. We will try see 83 is given. Now, if we will consider the number 83 and we will consider the digits only 8 and 3. Now, if you will multiply 8 into 3, this is 24 and 24 plus 1 is 25, which is given over here. We will check here also whether the same process is followed or not. So, we will consider 92 and we will multiply the digits. So, 9 into 2 is 18. Then what we have done, we have added 1 to 8. So, 18 plus 1 is 19. So, 19 is given. Check over here. 19 is nowhere in the option. So, this process we cannot follow. So, we have to try a little bit in a different way in order to get the answer. So, once again, we will start. We will consider this 83. Now, we will subtract 3. So, 8 minus 3 is 5. Now, we will square it. Now, 5 square is 5 into 5, which is equal to 25, which is given. So, we will check over here. Again, we will consider this 92 and we will do 9 minus 2. So, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Now, we will square it. So, 7 square is 7 into 7, which is equal to 49. So, 49 is the answer and in the, in the option also 49 is given. So, this is option D. That's all for today. Hope you have understood. Thanks for watching.